Steve, how do you describe what we just saw out there? Um, very disappointing, obviously. Um, you know, we we knew how important the game was. It's a big derby, especially at home. Um, we went down 2-0, you know, straight away, and it was, it's, it's tough to come back. You know, if you look at the stats, they all look positive, but, you know, they were just way better than us in the in the final third. They took their chances. Um, they were obviously up for the game as well, but um, we had a number of chances that we didn't uh, have the composure to finish them off or to, to try and get back into the game. What did you say to them at half-time? Because I guess at 2-0 there, there is scope for you to, to claw something back. Yeah, we just obviously wanted to try and get one back and then, you know, once you get one, things turn pretty quickly. Um, but obviously then the sucker punch come with their, their third goal and, you know, it was pretty much all over after that. So we obviously started to try and push a little bit further forward um, with the changes that we made as well. But, um, yeah, it wasn't really going our way. Two pretty nice passes for their two goals, Steve, but your defence at that time wasn't particularly set. I mean, what did you make of your defending in those moments? Yeah, well, obviously we didn't defend well. We conceded four goals, so, uh, but we defend as a, as a unit. We defend uh, all together, and it starts at the front. Uh, you know, we we can't just blame the back four. It's uh, their moments in games. We have to do better. Um, so it's something we need to look at. We've been pretty good uh, recently, defensively, but um, yeah, that was obviously a, a poor, poor defensive display. Steve, you said going down two 0 early sort of sunk you. Um, was there a reason you didn't come out of the blocks fast enough? Was it was something in the warm up? No, I don't. I don't think so. I think they had a good warm up. It's, it's not that. It's just, you know, what what happens on the pitch doesn't matter. What happens in the warm up? You need to be ready. You need to be prepared, and um, you need to be obviously when the when that whistle blows to, to to try and get on the front foot. So, you know, they pretty much scored with their probably one of their first opportunities. So, set us back straight away. Did you get enough Steve out of the subs that came on? Kuchaski. Uh, was there enough in them, or was it um, in a difficult spot? I think Segasic uh, had a couple of chances actually when he come on. So he's obviously uh, had a couple of shots. And probably should have scored one or two goals. Um, yeah, the other ones, you know, they found it hard. I think uh, Jake Girdwood Wright did pretty well when he come on. Jack was good when he come on early as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's um, I don't think really if you look at the score line, it, it, we shouldn't be, you know. Talking about players doing well, it's a lot, a lot of improvement, obviously, with that that result in the end. Is that the sort of result that could put dead confidence, Steve? There's some important games coming up. You've obviously yeah. in the final race, but yeah. that might set you back. I don't think so. Um, what it should do is spur them on because they need to respond from that, um, especially at home. You know, home in a derby to get beat four 0 So if you can't come back from that uh, and show character. From the players, there's a lot of senior players in there, a lot of young boys as well, which obviously lead from the from the older ones. Um, but I think, you know, for me, the results actually went our way today. It was another opportunity for us to move closer to Wellington and to Wanderers, and we didn't take it. That's what it comes down to. You know, our next game is against Western. Uh, I think they're two points behind us now. You know, you win that, you're five five in front of them. Steve, just Donald Key, there's a there's a home stream. I think so, yeah. He's felt something with his hamstrings. So I, I, I'm not sure how bad it is. Um, he just felt he's felt something. So we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see how the, how he feels tomorrow. I'll get probably some scans done and, and we'll go from there. And are you like Adam Mafondra like will yeah. be back then? Yeah, he will be, he'll be back for the Western game. So will Maxi as well, Maxi Burgess. Um, so, yeah, we'll have obviously two key players coming back for that game, um, which we need obviously for the running. Would you have... Um did you think about starting Segic? Was it a factor just no. in terms of his travel coming back? No. Um, no, I wasn't thinking about starting him. You know, um, he's had a obviously a good tournament over there. He played well, but you know he's had a lot of work over there as well. And he just got back this week. And um, even after the result last week, actually, I think the team actually performed really well. Um, we should have really won last week. We should have had a penalty, 100%. I'm not even sure. This Wellington's penalty last night was exactly the same, so I'm not sure why ours, ours wasn't given. But um, the performance last week was very good. Result, not so good. But, um, yeah, you know, the and we appealed for Max. Uh, we didn't get off. He didn't get off for that, so we went with the same team. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers.